Okay, this is the story of the very hungry caterpillar. But before the caterpillar is a caterpillar, it's an egg like this on a green leaf. You see that white egg? In the light of a moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. On Sunday morning, the warm sun came out and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look at that caterpillar. He was so hungry, he started to look for some food. He's looking everywhere and he's saying, I'm so hungry. Oh, that poor caterpillar. So let's see if we can find him some food. On Monday, he ate through one red apple. Yum, 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 yum. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two green pears. Yum, 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 yum. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Let's count them. One, One two, two, three, three. Four. Let's see if he can eat them all. Yum, 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 yum. But guess what, guys? He was Damn. still hungry. hungry. On Friday, he ate through... How many oranges is that? Five. One, two, three, four, five oranges. Yum, 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 yum. But he was still hungry. On Saturday... Oh, boy. He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it actually does look good. One pickle. Pickle. Where's my pickle? One pickle. One slice of Swiss cheese. Doesn't that look yummy, Mommy? Yes. One sausage. Um, nom, 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 nom. Oh, here comes a good one. One. What's this? Popsicle. Lollipop. lollipop. One lollipop. Oh, he's eating a lot. One slice of cherry pie. Yum, 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 yum. One, what's this? Cup um, cupcake. Cake. And one slice of a watermelon. Watermelon, I love watermelon. Me too. And that night, oh no. After all the food he ate, what happened? He, he got a tummy ache. Oh no, he had a tummy ache because he ate all of this food. Plums, some of it was healthy foods. Some of it was not so healthy. Can no. you find some of the foods that was maybe not very healthy? This. Yeah, the lollipop. And this. And the cupcake. Bow. Maybe the ice cream. Yeah. And what about the chocolate cake? Yeah. That's all I They're not the most healthy, but they are delicious. All yeah. right. So he had a stomach ache and he had to figure out what to do. So the very hungry caterpillar then ate through one nice green leaf. Kind of just like the one that he used to be on when he was an egg. And let's have a picture of him eating that delicious, mm. yummy leaf. Yum, 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 yum. yum, yum. But, but we think he's still late. So he's busy eating his leaf. And now the caterpillar wasn't very small. He was a big fat, fat one. caterpillar. He built a small house 
called a cocoon, or we call it a chrysalis, around himself. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a small hole inside of the cocoon. Charlie's gonna get ready for the big review, the reveal. And out came a beautiful butterfly. And we watched our little guy transform from a caterpillar to a chrysalis to a butterfly. And that is the end of our story. Yeah. Thanks, Charlie, for helping me tell the story. Uh-huh. Okay, hi, Green Room friends. This is Owen and Charlie. You've hi. probably seen them before in my other videos. And we're pretty excited because... I don't know if you know Lynn from Cherry Preschool, but Lynn works at Cherry Preschool. Mm -hmm. And she just dropped something off at my house and we're really excited about it. So um, first thing is this box, which says fragile on it. And it has an arrow and it says this end up. So we definitely don't wanna like shake it or turn it upside down and Let's see what's inside our box. I'm gonna use a knife carefully. Oh wait, it's easy to open. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got this, this in it. This is seeds. These are seeds and it says, let's plant a butterfly garden. And these are wildflower seeds. And if you hear, can you hear them shake? That's pretty cool, okay. So that's in there. Oh, oh, hmm. Then I have this thing. It looks kind of, it's plastic, but it looks like a log. What could go on that? Hmm, I wonder what we're gonna put in there, all right? Now, there's this little instruction booklet and it says, it's time to grow. And if you look inside, there's some creatures in there. All right, now here's the most exciting part. Whoa. Look what I have here, guys. Can you tell what they are? Caterpillars. They're teeny tiny caterpillars. I'm gonna put them really oh, up close God. to the camera. So we have four little guys here. And the, is it five? Oh yeah, there's five. There's one teeny tiny one. Can you see there's three on the bottom and two at the top. And the bottom part here is food for them. They're also making little like webs and anyway, what's gonna happen is we have, Lynn dropped us off something else for our new creatures. Whoa. See this? Whoa. This is a butterfly net and this is where our caterpillars are gonna go. And they're gonna live inside here after these guys are done eating and they've filled up their bellies, just like the hung, very hungry caterpillar, um, after they filled up their bellies, they are going to transform into a chrysalis. And then we're once they do that, we're gonna put them in this cool container. Yeah. So, I just want you to see how our friends look today because next time we check in, they're probably going to look a little bit different. Yeah. Maybe they will already transform into a chrysalis. I don't know how long it takes. Well, I'll have to read the directions. Let's see the directions. One, it says step one. It says, give your caterpillars 48 hours to get used to their new home. Do not place them in the sun and be very gentle and leave the lid on the cup at all times. What do you think will happen if I don't leave the lid on? Um, they'd probably get out. I think they might get out. It says keep at room temperature, so we're not gonna put them in the refrigerator and we're not gonna put them outside because right now it's snowing outside. All right, then it says step two, watch, watch them become chrysalides. Remember how I said they were gonna be a chrysalis? Well, that's what it'll look like, if you can see. They're gonna be in a, like a cocoon type of thing. It says, after seven to 10 days, your caterpillars will become chrysalides. Wait three days for the chrysalides to harden and be very gentle with them. 
an amazing transformation is taking place inside. Okay. Then after that, we're going to move our chrysalides to the butterfly habitat. It's going to look like this. Remember that thing that, that I showed you? We're going to put the lid on here and they're going to grow on the side of the lid like that. Step four, see your butterflies emerge. So they're gonna come out of the chrysalis and they will be a butterfly. And step five says to feed your butterflies. And it gives us a recipe for making a nectar. So, I see them moving. Yeah, they're moving. So that's where we are. We'll talk about it again next week, but I just wanted to share our exciting delivery with you. So we'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Bye.